friends welcome to aqua blue boutique channels if you guys are new here you guys don't know who i am my name is z and before we go into tutorial thursday i would like you guys to hit the thumbs up and the red subscribe button down below near the description box and also hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss any future videos from me and i would appreciate that a lot from you guys because that will help out my channel on the YouTube algorithm okay so thank you so much ladies and gentlemen and anybody's out watching this video um, so for tutorial Thursday today I am doing a screen record for you guys because we are going to be doing something on umbrellas so the so on umbrellas today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can use um, existing elements that you guys already have in your library to create new designs so you guys can make you know things that are unique that people don't have because uh, they you know when people buy it, they don't have if you guys don't have umbrellas then you guys umbrellas or any um software to manipulate the design then you probably just buy the design off of etsy or whatever digitizer you go to and you guys just have like the same design like everybody else you know so that's why i'm doing this to show folks that it's really easy to manipulate some of the elements from existing design and uh, combining a bunch of them together from your library and creating a new design that's a little bit different so people don't uh, have it because they don't know where you bring each element from <laughs> because you're gonna buy it, um, or if you have like a bunch of existing imported files already you you can um, bring in existing element from certain imported files to create a new one you guys so you guys can have something totally different that's unique to your store that people not going to know where you bring all these elements from so let's get to it so you have to have in real essential essential it's um the basic program from for imbalance where you can manipulate certain things on it so i would do a video later of my top 10 features on imbalance but today just for the tutorial thursday we're going to be learning how to combine elements from other design and also use what we already have within our software or things that we've been buying already so let's open up imbalance so here is imbalance down here so i have this written down because i'm gonna create a valentine design okay this is just a simple valentine design um i went to pendras and i look at all the svg um embroidery stuff like just words you know words and sayings about valentine and i saw this one say miss valentine they have a miss and mr valentine and so I was like, okay, this is a simple design and it's just words and, you know, I'm going to add some hearts and a bow to it because it's a, you know, miss is a girl. So, you know, girl, when I think of girls, I think it's a bow. And so we're going to have a bow element to it and some hearts. And then for words, you guys use whatever wording or letter you guys have out, you know, whatever you guys have here so i have bought all this from numerous places on etsy and other digitizers so um, i already have a ton of fonts in here so it's really easy to create um saying or words that you guys see on that it's svg and you don't even need to uh, digitize it you know words are easy to recreate because you already have a ton of embroidery fonts if you've been buying it over the last couple months or a couple of years you know so you probably have a tons of cool fonts already so for this i want it to have more like a printed uh, fun fonts up here and then for the valentine i want to be more like a script font so i chose stitchtopia carmi lu and stitchtopia is like they have like a lot of um really cute or you know, really pretty script fonts so i went with carmi lu from stitchtopia 
And then this this one is just really fun font from design by Juju. It's Kawili. I just really like how funky the S looks, so I'm going with that. And then I'm going to fix these. You know, when you type it out, the letter are not connected. I mean, script font supposed to be connected, so you're just going to be scooting over the letter to make them connect, okay? Just like that. So let me fix all of my wording. So this is a really simple design. You guys can create whatever saying you guys want um, on Etsy, on Pinterest. There's so many Valentine's sayings. Like you could do be mine, cute and the cupid, um, cupid's wingman. There's just a bunch of cute um, saying. You can also say daddy's valentine's, mom, mommy and daddy's valentine. Those are um, designs that I've been seeing selling really well on Etsy for valentine. So we're going to create them for embroidery and a lot of them were just HTV so I want to do something for embroidery so I'm going to be creating it with the fonts and elements I already have in my stash so I'm, I'm going to make sure this is center so I'm going to hit this is this button right here is the center center design in the hoop so here is center it and I think I like how that look already so I'm going to make this one red so I'm going to change this. So before I change this, I'm just going to hit the thread here. So it will change it to poly, Madeira polyester. So because that's the brand I use. So I choose that thread. So it's just um, converted to like a, like a random thread that is closest to, you know, the welcome thread color. So I'm going to go to threads right here so I can choose my red. I think the red I have is candy apple. So, yep, I'm just going to do that. And then miss, I'm just going to leave it black. For the black, I this is a color I use. Oh, this is brother, so let me change it to Madeira. So, you see, this is all the other um, company threads so I'm only use Madeira so I'm gonna Madeira and Metropolitan so I'm gonna choose that thread and then here we already have this design started but I want to add some hearts and so I already have so I bought these heart um, from Etsy I don't remember I bought it a while back so it comes with three or it has an individual one. You can do an individual one like this. Let me see. Oh, okay, that's not a PES, so this is a PS. So my um my embroidered machine only read PS, so I need to um, only use PES design. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use this big one and this. I don't think I like that. Let me see. I think I'm just going to use I need a smaller one. Or let me see if this one look good. These three. I think I like these three, but I don't like the jump stitch right here. Now, nah, I think I'm just going to recopy one of these. So this is the part where you're just playing around to see what look good in your eye. <laughs> And then I'm going to reflect. This is the reflect. So it's going to reflect it to the other side. 
I think I'm just gonna do two hearts like this. And then the next element, I'm gonna grab from an existing design. So I already put it here. So here you guys see that um, I have this little turkey. This turkey has this cute bow right here. I'm gonna steal this bow from this turkey, okay? <laughs> So you can't just, you have to click over here and we have to click where the bowl is from. So I think this is the bowl. So the bowl is down here. So it's just this one and this one. So I need to click this one. So on that, it's command. I, I, I forgot the keyword for um, PC. So. You guys have to uh, see the alternating keyword keyboard for that. So on the keyboard, I'm going to click Command on Mac and the Command so I can highlight these two. And then I'm going to right click on this bowl, copy, and then I'm going to paste it. And this bowl has this little jump stitch that I don't, I don't like. So we're going to this uh, stitch simulator. We're going to go all the way to the bowl. So here's where the beginning of the bowl start, where the jump stitches. And we're going to click this little arrow until it hits um, that part. You see that? That's where the jump is. And then we're going to click stop. And I have to choose a different color so I can delete this jump stitch, OK? So we're choosing a different color there. And then you see the jump stitch is right here and you can just delete that. You see it's deleted, you guys, it's, it's that easy. And we have a bow that we s took from uh, this turkey. And this turkey is from Alphabolicious. She has a lot of cute designs, a lot of cute things. So we're just going to put this here. So I don't know if I like these heart because these are feel. They're like feel. Um, they're not sketch heart. Let me see if I can find any sketch heart. I don't think I have any sketch heart. The. I like these hearts, so I think I'm going to be using this one instead of, okay, this one is too big. So I think extra small right here. Yeah, I think I like this more. So we're going to delete these. Fill stitch It's a little bit too dense for me, so I think I'll, I'll use this copy paste I'm going to reflect it so it's on the other side so I'm going to be putting this bow tilted a little bit I will change the color too So I'm going to make this bow a red bow. We're going to change that to candy apple. And then these, we're going to change it to candy apple. So they are the same red. That's it, you guys. I think I really like that. I think I'm going to have to add one more heart up here because... I feel like I need three elements of heart. Let me see. Nah. Doesn't look good. It does not look good. Um, I think I like it like this already. And so I'm going to select everything and just center it. And then if the child, if the person that buy this want to personalize it, you can definitely personal like this so you can move this up a little bit and then just 
add a name to it you guys just how we personalize um you know our birthday shirt you can even personalize this type of shirt i'm gonna try the grace font because i love the swirl on the bottom so we're just going to go with marianne Oh, okay, so let's go with 1.5, still too small, let's do a 2 inch. So you see all those um, font, they're not, they're spaced out, this is a script font, so you need to connect them. I'm going to clip hoop, so it'll bring me back over here. So connect this. Connect all your letter. So we're almost done here, you guys. Okay, and then I'm going to center the name, use my arrow on my keyboard to push it all the way down so I know it's exactly in the center. There we go, you guys. So that's how you add a name. I think this uh, design is really pretty, and I don't think anybody will have something that's because if they didn't know where we get the bowl from right so we just got it from this turkey um, you can go and look at whatever you design you guys have so let's for example oh for the heart i can even get the sketch heart from let's go to valentine so i have a valentine folder here and I think Joy K or Classic Applique has. Let me see. This doll, the doll um, holding um, these hearts. I since if I like the sketch heart of this, I can steal it from this dog too. So I can do this, you guys. Okay, so I can copy it and then paste it and bring it out but since these are all connected I will have to do something like this so I have to bring the stitch simulator out again and go all the way to this you see this you guys will have to manually do this so We're just gonna press this so we know when it jumps to the next one. So we can put a color stop to it. And so we can use this, we can separate this from the other heart. Okay, see right here, it's starting. So I'm gonna go back, a couple stitch there. So this is where it ends. So I'm gonna hit the stop and I'm going to change the rest of the color to orange so I can, you know, detach this heart and I can delete the rest of the I can delete the rest of these orange heart because they're all the same size so I could use this because I was looking for a sketch heart instead of a you know fill heart the one that I have earlier was a fill heart so I need some sketch heart. I'm just going to put them I mean, I think I'm going to do this. 
put this in the back and then since this is more fill I'm going to put this um, move later and then this one move later this one move earlier so this is the order okay if you don't put these at the bottom like move these at the bottom so they will stitch on top of this if you put this at the bottom then if you put this after then it's going to stitch on top so you, whichever order you want but i think i want the sketch behind and then i want this one on top Oh, I think I like this way better now. So, you guys, look at that. I think this is going to look cute on a shirt. So, we're, we're going to turn off the stitch simulator. So, the stitch simulator, it's really helpful for you to um, do color stop. So, you guys can grab the element and break it from the design from another existing design like I just show you guys. So I hope you guys go and, you know, look at all what you have and just grab elements from whatever design that you already have and then just create a new one. In a good way is look at sayings like Valentine's sayings, Easter. Um, those are like the easiest to create because they're just words. So um, look at some really trendy, um, words that are doing well on Etsy or Pinterest or Google and just look at those words and come up with something so you guys can make a freaking cool design that people do not know where you get the elements from you guys and that will be uniquely yours so anyways I hope that this video was really helpful for you guys that you guys will be able to create something um, different than what you guys already see on etsy anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys do hit the thumbs up you guys anyways the last thing for this i want you guys to know how to save it so whatever your um, machine reads save it to that a file so on brilliant it has save as stitch file or save as working file or save as stitching working. So working file is the dot be and dot be means you can the uh, and board machine does not read that. They only read the file that the you know board machine is built to read. So my machine is brother and they read dot pes. So I want to save it as working and stitch because. If I need to change something or change color or change anything later, um, I can change it in the working file because if you do it and if you only save it as a stitching file, you cannot change anything with the stitch file, okay? So it's best to save it as a stitching file. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So friends take care i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thursday bye